everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm talking about my top long lasting oil controlling foundations. This is the second video in my blind foundation testing series. If you're not familiar with what I've done as far as blind foundation testing goes, I'm going to link that video because it's got the entire methodology. Basically what I did is I emptied all of my liquid foundations out into unmarked containers so that I could really truly see which ones I liked the most and which ones I didn't actually like and be completely unbiased about it. I didn't know what I was wearing on what day. If you wanna see how this blind foundation testing has gone, what my actual top favorite foundations are after not knowing what I was wearing, just keep watching. First of all, I am extremely sorry that it's taken me so long to get the second one of these up. The first one was my top five skin light foundations, which you guys really enjoyed. So thank you for that. The feedback has been great. And I know a lot of you have been wondering where the next video was. I just had a lot of other videos that I've been doing in between. There's so many videos that I wanna do. I have a list a mile long, but I am going to try my hardest to do these closer together for you guys. So like I said, I started with a few categories. I started with full coverage, medium satin, and light skin-like, and then ended up creating some subcategories based on my spreadsheet that I created that were based on the notes that I took along the way. I went through the light and medium categories with exactly what foundations I used in the last video. This particular category in this video does span all three categories. So if you wanna see all the foundations that I tested that are not BB and CC creams and that kind of thing, definitely go check out the top five skin light foundations. I'll put a timestamp so that you can get straight to the medium and light foundations that I used and stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see the full coverage foundations because I'll go through really quickly and list all of those for you so you can see all the full coverage foundations that I tested when I was blind testing. It's very important that you know my skin type so you know what I'm looking for from foundations. I am over 40, I actually turn 43 this week, August 7th is my birthday and I will be 43 on that day. I have oily combination skin and I live in a very hot and humid area. I live in New Orleans, so I do know what it's like to deal with extreme heat and humidity, especially this time of year. I did this testing in the spring, so it was still hot and humid where I live, but it does definitely make a difference in terms of what I'm looking for in terms of longevity and what kind of finish I want on my skin. I want something that is not going to emphasize anything I don't want it to emphasize, and I also don't want something that's going to make me look like a grease ball by noon. I'm gonna lead off with Urban Decay Naked Skin. This was in my last video as well. I rediscovered this foundation through doing this testing, actually. This had been in a drawer for a really long time. Then next thing you knew, I, it came out ranked. I didn't know what this foundation was, and it was this. I had no idea how much I liked this foundation. My notes actually say it's pretty much perfect. It applies quickly, it makes my skin look airbrushed, it gives light to medium coverage that's easily buildable, it's very skin-like, very poor blurring, it's long lasting and super oil controlling and I only have to blot once. <laughs> So this to me on my skin gives really nice coverage. I do want to make a note that if I don't mention a foundation in here, doesn't mean I don't like it. It just didn't make it quite to the top for one reason or another. And it may end up being in another top favorite video. Doesn't mean it's not going to be in one just because it's not in this one. The next foundation that a lot of you are going to know is in this video is not being discontinued from what I understand. From what I hear, Estee Lauder Double Wear Light is being repackaged and more shades are being added. I hope this is true because this is such a fantastic foundation and it feels like this is almost empty. I am in the shade 2.0 in this and 4.0 in Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'll list all my shades down below. I also have all of my foundation shades listed over on my blog, which is always linked below my videos so that you guys can reference it. I have in my notes that this applies super easily. It looks like your skin, but better. It gives medium natural coverage and a polished demi matte finish. It sets well, it wears all day long, it melts into skin and gives wonderful oil control. This is not a matte foundation. 
It's more of a demi matte foundation, which I really appreciate because sometimes I don't really want to look matte even though I don't want to get oily during the day. And I do like this is kind of a step above skin like that's why it didn't make it into my skin like foundations video a lot of you asked me about that because you know i love this foundation it's not quite skin like in the fact that it can't really fool someone into thinking you're not wearing foundation but it does look still very natural on the skin if that makes sense i love this foundation i think a lot of people maybe for some reason skipped out on it because they thought it might be heavy like double wear even though the word light is in the name it's not heavy it's really really a pretty foundation which leads me straight into how many of you knew this was going to be in this video i do want to hear your favorite long lasting oil control foundations down below please leave me your favorites if they're in this video or if you just have other favorites that I may not have tried. I wanna hear those too. You know I'm always looking to try foundations. In my notes, I have that this sets quickly, so blend it quickly. It's thin, yet gives medium to full buildable coverage. It doesn't look or feel heavy. It's nice with pores. It lasts all day long, super long day. Sometimes my notes are kind of cryptic, but I know what I'm trying to say. I have to blot every four to five hours, but it's not greasy. It makes me look kind of demi matte. I feel like because of the name, it gets a bad name. I don't know if that makes sense, but the name double wear sounds like armor, doesn't it? And people, if they haven't tried it before, tend to write it off thinking it's gonna be this heavy mask-like foundation. It's really not if you apply it in small layers. One of my first videos was how to apply a stay low double wear without looking cakey. It's how a lot of you found me. It's helped a lot of you. It's not my best video as far as personality goes. That's another story. I've talked about that before. But I feel like it has helped a lot of you as far as just how to apply this or any kind of foundation without looking cakey and heavy. And it's a really beautiful foundation. It can look pretty natural, actually. It's not heavy, it is really pretty. I like that I can go half a day without shine coming through, and when it does come through, it's not a greasy shine. It's just something I have to lightly blot, and then I can move forward with my day. This was kind of a last minute addition into the blind foundation testing. I got this foundation while I was in the midst of my foundation testing, and I ended up putting this into an empty container and shuffling it around into the full category before I got to that category. So I was so glad that I got it. And I can't remember if I actually did a full review on it or if I just put it in a favorites video, this is good stuff though. I have in my notes that this is thin, it blends easily, it's medium to full, covers well, yet it's not heavy looking. This is as close to skin looking as a full coverage foundation can be. On a 14 hour day, I only had to blot one to two times, but it wasn't a greasy shine. Good with pores, blurs, feels good all day long. This is a very thin, lightweight foundation. I really love this. The only thing for me is that I am in the shade G30 and it's a little bit too light for me. I should go down a shade. In order to wear this in the summer, which is ideal because you want long lasting oil controlling foundations in the summertime, I'm having to mix this with the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy because this is a little bit light for me even in the winter. So I definitely have to add in some kind of something to deepen it up. Oh, I forgot to tell you my Estee Lauder Double Wear shade. This is 2W1 Dawn. That's kind of my year round shade. In the summer, I go to Rattan sometimes and I'm almost out of this too. I need to get some more pretty soon. I feel like I've recommended this next foundation to a lot of people who are looking for a really nice drugstore foundation. Now keep in mind this video does not include BB creams and CC creams because there's another one that comes to mind that I recommend a lot and that will be in another video during the blind testing. But this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Now they do have a dewy version if you have dry skin. I have in my notes that it applies easily. It's demi matte even after setting. It gives medium to full coverage. It's buildable, not cakey, really pretty on the skin. It lasts all day and I don't have to blot much at all. You know, when you have oily combination skin, blotting is just a way of life. I usually blot with blotting papers and then touch up with translucent powder. That's what I do. I don't have a particular blotting paper that I prefer. I usually just pick up some from Ulta or wherever I am. And the less I have to do that, the less I have to look in the mirror, the better. And that's pretty much what all these foundations do. I might have to only do it once or twice a day. A couple of them, really not at all. That's why I like them all. 
None of them look cakey, none of them look heavy, but they all give somewhat different features. So that's why I wanted to include them all. This next one is just a really good no fail foundation for me, especially for special occasions. I feel like I've been reaching for this more than my Estee Lauder Double Wear, which was kind of my lifetime staple special occasion foundation. And I've got two here that I've been reaching for a little bit more when I have a special event or something like that. And this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. Now this does have a slight peach scent to it, which I'm sure a lot of you are aware of. I don't notice it though once I have makeup on top of it, once it's been applied. I have in my notes normal application. This is matte, not flat, even before setting. So if you are not a proponent of using powder, if you have more mature skin and you may be a little leery of using powder, this might be one that would be good for you. It's medium to full buildable coverage, but never cakey. It gives an airbrush finish. I can wear it 11 to 12 hours and have beautiful makeup all day long. It feels good on the skin. It sets nicely. I can go all day without blotting. This is just a no fail foundation. I just love this foundation. I'm in the shade light beige. And I keep forgetting to give you guys shade names in the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm in shade 128. The next no fail long wearing special event, actually any time kind of foundation that I've been reaching for a lot. And part of the reason why is because I did wear it to a special event, a Mardi Gras ball in January. And I used this and I wanna say it was the Ofra setting spray, but it may have been the Gerard Slay all day. Anyway, I wore those two in combination and my makeup looked perfect until like three o'clock in the morning. And that is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. I have that this applies normally. It's not a quick application. It's just a regular foundation application. It is matte, but not flat. It's set well. It gives medium to full buildable coverage. It's not cakey. It's beautiful all day. It feels wonderful on the skin, really pretty. And I blotted once in 12 hours. Now, the day that I wore this, I mean, when I knew what it was in January, I think I blotted twice, maybe once that whole period of time when I wore it to the Mardi Gras ball and I, it looked great. We were dancing all night. I was sweating and I kept thinking my makeup was a disaster. And every time I would check it, it just looked perfect. It was like, it was resetting itself or something. I don't know. I am in the shade Sandalwood 15. I love this foundation. It wore well on the blind testing day. All these did. It, they just correlated perfectly with how they normally wear for me. And this one was no exception whatsoever. It's a great foundation. This next foundation is one that I'm adding in. This wasn't part of the blind foundation testing, but I would be doing you a huge disservice if I didn't put this foundation in this top long lasting oil controlling video. It's the Dior Backstage Foundation. I just did a foundation review on this like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. This is a great foundation. I had said that I would have put this in my skin-like foundations as well. I have two skin-like foundations in this video that are also long wearing and oil controlling this and the Urban Decay Naked Skin. They were both in that video or the Naked Skin was and this one should have been if I had reviewed it back then. Just some quick notes for you because you can always go watch that video. I definitely would because I've got the check-ins and everything in there. It lasts all day. It truly does look skin-like while giving beautiful airbrush coverage on the skin. Now this foundation does have some alcohol in it which is a deal breaker for some people but if you're not wearing it every single day and you're putting it over SPF and sunscreen, that's your personal decision but it's a beautiful foundation on the skin. I feel like it's very popular amongst people for good reason. It just looks really beautiful on the skin. It really does blur the pores. It doesn't emphasize anything bad on the skin. It just makes everything look really nice. I'm in the shade 2.5N. If you wanna see all the full coverage foundations that I tried in this video, keep watching to see the medium and light coverage foundations and actually a little bit more on the methodology. I have that video linked, which is the top skin light foundations. I'll put a timestamp so you can jump to that part, but you could also see what my top skin light foundations were. If you wanna see the full methodology of my blind foundation testing, I'm gonna link that video for you as well. For now, I'm gonna go into all the full coverage foundations that I tested. I am gonna be doing a top matte foundations video. That is not really the same thing as this, although there will be some overlap because 
some of these foundations, although they're oil controlling and they do last all day, they're not necessarily matte. There are 11 total foundations that I looked at for the full coverage category. If you want to see the shades, they are on my blog. The link is down below in my description box. The first is Revlon Color Stay, Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation, Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Foundation, Cover FX Power Play Foundation, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet, Maybelline Superstay, Bare Minerals Bare Pro, Too Faced Peach Perfect, and Estee Lauder Double Wear. Again, let me know your favorite oil controlling, long wearing foundations. I wanna see what you guys like below, if I've tried those before. If not, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.